this is a Shetland kishi, which is made on Shetland where there's hardly any wood. So they've had to make baskets by using bundles of oat straw tied together with these this stuff, which is, is lovely, got a lovely name. It's called Flossy Simmons, this string. The, the Simmons is the string and the floss is the type of rush, just that rush that's growing out there. So I make a lot of string and that's the same technique that's been used in, in these, making string from different plants in the garden. And the colours are, are the actual colours of the plant. There's no paint or anything. But that's a kind of technique of wave of making string but linking it together in a shape as you go. And that's that's a whole group. Well, what? And about the place and about the time of year and about me, I'm actually quite interested in the relationship between place, plants and people and the actual physicality of the people because for instance the kishi you make it to fit your own size, the bundles are the size of your hands and when you make this string, the flossy simmons, you have to make 22 metres of it and it's a fathom, uh, 22 fathoms the man who told me about it said, I said what's a fathom? This is a fathom, so it, it automatically ends up fitting the person who made it. That's called cornucopia, that's just a lot of everything. Just made for its own sake, totally non-functional. And that's the same with that, that's a whirlpool based around the Corrie Reckon really. With bits and pieces, so as far as I'm concerned nothing is taboo. I can put anything in a basket, but I, I like making a basket of stuff that's grown or recycled like that paper. It's the open times. As I was saying, everything in the garden can get used. This time of year it's stuff like this, the irises leaves that would be hard. So most of that's mine. Some of it is from Barfad Willow at Ardfern. And when I go in their barn, even though I don't really need the willow, I see it all stacked up in lovely colours. I just want to take it. I'm very interested in the technical, the scientific names of them all when I'm looking at a catalogue or in an official collection, but I hate labels everywhere in the garden, so I forget. I tend to just call it by the person who gave it to me. Like, that's Trevor's willow, and I might have Maddie's willow. <laughs> oh, yes, that's so those people have been, had been forced to make things from the plants that were around them since the year, not, not just people, but animals, and so they put grass on the floor to keep it a bit warmer, then they wove it into mats, and they, they had to make clothes, they had to make things to carry stuff, to store food, and that has just been passed down from generation to generation. It's getting very, very weak now, and um, I quite like to be part of helping pass that on. I wouldn't say that I'm at all skilled. I've got huge respect for traditional basket makers who could sit all day, 12 hours a day, and turn out eight log baskets or something like that. I, I definitely don't do that, but I, I think I can appreciate what they do, and I know some techniques, and I know more techniques than a lot of other people do, so I, I'm able to pass it on a little bit. And what I really like is passing it on a little bit and seeing somebody get very enthusiastic and taking it further. I find that very rewarding. In fact, I often say I make basket makers, not baskets. Because <laughs> uh, people, it's, it's just absolutely wonderful to see somebody learning to make stuff with their hands, whether they're sort of three years old or 80 years old. And there's a lot of people now who never, never ever make anything. And they're just overcome with the fact that they can. They think that there's some huge innate skill you need when actually it's a little bit of common sense and a bit of practice and a bit of help. And to know that they can make stuff from their prunings in the garden is, is, is great fun. Well, I love, I love the whole cycle of growing stuff, harvesting and making it. So a lot of my... A lot of my work isn't at all functional, it's just that I just love the colour and feel and smell of the plants and I, or, or the lichen, depending on the time of year. Um, I love the colour and I just want to make it into something that will kind of capture that.